And welcome back, everybody, once again to Super Hostile Online. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and I've decided to do a bit of exploration to see if we can figure out where we need to go next. So I'm over here by the entrance to the old dojo. I'm not even sure if that dojo is still there or not, and I saw this in the background. Um, I've heard people talk about a parkour tower, and that this looks like it might be it. Uh, these have these do have feather falling on them. Oh, I don't know about doing it with this speed. You guys might make it harder, actually. I guess big gaps and whatnot are going to be easier, but I could easily see myself like walking off or something. Uh, and up, up, and away we go. Uh, the ladders are nice. I'm happy to see all the ladders. <laughs> so that not everything is some crazy, crazy jump that we have to make. So yeah, I'm still a little, uh, unsure what exactly we're supposed to be doing in that area with the bone guards I'm thinking that it may simply be a place for grinding and loot gathering and whatnot um, okay and from here we're supposed to do what exactly I guess we go back down. I think. Uh, jump. Got it. Old East Watch Dojo. Well, that's nice. And safety feats. Chiseled stone brick monster egg. I haven't really been taking the blocks mainly because uh, <clears throat> I don't I plan on doing much building on this server, although. The locker that I have is so full that I probably do need to build some kind of base just so I have more storage. Is there anything else up here? I see a sign. And it opened up my eyes. Uh, oh man, that makes me nervous. Don't walk all the way off, guy. I see stone brick all the way down there. It could just be part of the tower. Could be really anything at this point. Um, what does the sign say? I think we can make that jump. Or not. Okay. Slime blocks. Well, that's interesting to see. Uh, let's head back over here. Maybe we can get a peek at those stone bricks that we saw. See if there are anything that we should be concerning ourselves with. Uh, nope. It doesn't look like it. Oh, come on, guy. Make the jump. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, but I think we can make it up to see what this sign has to say. As requested a chest at the top of the dojo. Is that what this is supposed to be? Is a chest? Just part of a chest? Interesting. Um, man, I guess I should probably go back and turn in some of this stuff that we have, but I would like to continue exploring if possible. And I'm thinking that there might be something through here. The cave of the ancient dragon. Whee! Things are very, very calm in here, I must say. Oh, there are mobs, though. I guess they were just taking a little while to spawn. There are definitely mobs, lots of mobs. Uh, 
but it looks like to be pretty much the same as it was in the last version of Super Hostile Online. So maybe this will lead us to yet another dojo. Nope, not gonna do it to me, guy. Not today. Ooh, okay. Um... I don't know how I feel about being in here without any kind of shield. Alright, can I get your assistance, Mr. Creeper? Uh oh interesting, that's uh that's now a drop to void. So he's made some changes. It looks like Um, nope. Alright, this is the old path. This actually looks pretty much the same. <clears throat> pretty much the same. Now that I got the one dojo up on top of the tower, does that mean that we can't get the one up here if it is indeed still here? Whenever I see mob spawning, it, ma it makes me think that we've encountered an important area. Because why else would he put mobs there? But there have been a couple of locations now where there's mobs and it doesn't seem like there's any real purpose behind it. Um, give me those extra arrows, guy. Whoa, uh, 38 arrows. Okay, that was interesting. This is a dojo. Uh, yeah, so I guess that means that we probably need to rest in order to take advantage of it. Search around the island, see if we can't find anything. Um, well, that seems new. I don't remember that being there. That's probably where that cave leads us, though. Well, we are really close. Really close to the voids. Oh, oh. This looks like it might actually be something. Interesting. This makes me a little nervous, though. Especially with how fast I am right now. Do not... Do not fall... Into the void, guy. Oh gosh, there's actually there's actually gaps. There's actually gaps. And there's holes. Well that's good to know. Watch out for the holes, watch out for the gaps. Okay, so this seems like a whole nother landmass. Interesting. Um, easily done. Interesting transitional area, I must say, but we are in what appears to be like a desert themed area now. With palm trees and a structure. That's an interesting looking mountain right there. All right, well I feel like I feel like we're making progress. The last couple episodes I haven't really done much, and now we have discovered a whole new land. 
and a giant parkour tower, which was not really all that hard at all. Red Sand Outpost. A Delanian Expedition Force Red Sand Outpost. This out outpost is accepting supply packs from civilian militia. Red Sand Valley Waypoint. You have unlocked the Red Sand Valley Waypoint. The fast travel options are now available. Where's the fast travel at? I think that's the only waypoint I found. Are there waypoints for the other dungeons as well? Is this even a dungeon? Uh, deliver medicine trade pack. Deliver food trade pack. Interesting. Yeah, how do we how do we make use of the fast travel? That is something I would love to know. You have already unlocked this waypoint, so we can't. It's not a two-way teleporter; it's just a one-way teleporter. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, nothing there. I'm tempted to see storehouse. Deliver materials trade pack. Deliver weapons trade pack. Deliver armor trade pack. Interesting. I don't have that much food. I guess I have more than half a stack steak, but with how much running and traveling you do in this, it's uh, really not that much. I would love to know where this fast travel is, though. So that if I die, I can, <coughs> I can make use of it. But I guess it's off to off uh, time to go off and explore now. That is a cave that we would not be able to get out of, as far as I can tell. Um. Okay. I see pyramids. It's a good sign. Ooh, what are you? You have flowers for me. And these archers with the crazy, crazy uh, targeting distance. It's just... It's insane, I tell you. Insane, insane, insane. I'm a terrible, terrible aim. Sun-scorched something. Sun-scorched remains. My sounds seem off right now for some reason. It's not loud enough. And they're pretty... pretty difficult and do a decent amount of damage as well. Do they have any special drops for us? Are you just a regular zombie? No. Definitely not, although you're not named like the other ones are. Uh, protection one. Okay, interesting. Let us collect the foods. And then continue on our merry way. Okay, not sure what that is. Looks interesting though. Just a box of cobble and whatnot. Uh, spawn right in my face there, guy. I guess maybe there's supposed to be some kind of tomb. This is bringing back memories of Black Desert 2, <laughs> to be honest. Running around doing like monster hunter stuff. Okay, big structure up there. Very large structure. I need to turn my clouds off probably. But that looks promising. There's all these little like side caves and whatnot too. Oh, and very fast skeleton spider dudes. Um. Okay, something down there. 
The landmass seems to end here. Let's go down or up first. I kind of want to go and explore that structure first. Gosh, she's still following me. Still coming after me. This little overhang looks interesting. Looks like it should be falling over any minute now. He's still targeting me? <laughs> that's, that's, that's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up. We're looking for the light blue dungeon. Unless the thing with the bone guards is the light blue dungeon. Although it has the lime green glass in it, so I was kind of thinking that it was maybe lime lime wool. Uh, really, there's no there's no way into this place. Well, that's odd. There must be some kind of secret entrance or something. Maybe like a really hard to spot wooden button that we have to shoot. <laughs> uh, oh, what are you? What are you? You are nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, no. I feel like whenever he copy pasted this and MC edit like he messed up or something. I don't know. I guess I guess let's go down downstairs. Maybe we access it via the cave. And that makes me think that this is light blue wool. Light blue wool. Maybe perhaps Very colorful. I keep thinking I'm seeing signs everywhere. Climb down to crystal caves. Alright, we'll go. We will take the bait. Uh, crystal mining is hereby halted due to dangerous monsters by the orders of the Royal Delanian Survey Corps. What dangerous monsters? Is there more void? Gosh dang it, really? Really, Vex? I, I, you know, I'm worried he's gonna be like... Uh, putting like barrier blocks up or something. To cause us to mess up. Is this like a little tent thing? You find a dusty miner's journal in a ruined tent. Day 93, the pay is good, but the place gives me the creeps. Two days ago, Davis's team was cutting out a new node. They say they all heard this weird hissing from deep beneath them. Hissing crystals. Everyone thought they were just yanking our chains. More dumb pranks than yesterday. I heard something, too. Through a wall, a hissing noise. It sounded so angry, so malicious. I'm collecting my pay and going to find new work to hell with this cursed cave. Hissing noises is most likely creepers. Yeah, I didn't see a button back. Was there a button back? I guess we will find that out. Uh, food for us. I would actually like to take that, maybe. Or not, or not. Uh, monster, nest, danger. Do not enter. Oh gosh, what are you? What are you, guy? What are you writing, exactly? And how strong are you? Um... Okay, there goes that guy. Creeper has some kind of potion effect. But yeah, they're they're pretty tough. Oh, and he drops golden carrots. Ooh. I guess let's go ahead and 
do something like that. And uh, I guess we can get rid of you. So that we can pick up the golden carrot. Alright, uh, but it goes down over here as well. I see mobs spawning. I see what appears to be some kind of encampment here. No, thank you. Crafting bench. Uh, bridges. Over void, perhaps? Nope, guess not. Branch mine depleted. Well, this is kind of creeping me out. This is, I can't see anything, you guys. Let's go ahead and take this just for the night vision. And there goes my alarm. Yet again. Gosh dang it. I feel like there must be something else going on here with the branch mine, but there doesn't seem to be a path through. Let's check out this direction then. I'm guessing we probably want to be heading into the monster's nest. But I would like to do some more exploration, I think. Oh gosh dang it. Really? Really? At least there's no, like, skellies trying to shoot me off or anything. Um, does this take us anywhere? Not as far as I can tell. Almost looks like it should be a doorway or something. Uh, okay, so there's no no reason to come down here at all. What are you? And are you something I should care about? Almost looks like there's light down there. Oh, there's light down there as well, so I don't think that's anything. Is there even anything in this room? It almost looks like there's a doorway right there. But it's hard to tell. Uh, alright, well, let's head back up then. I mean, I'm certain that there must be something in this room, right? Uh, looks like we might be able to go up over here. Go up and around, maybe? Once again, it's so dark because it's very bright in my room and I cannot see anything. Uh, well, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Oh, there, there we go. Another one. Another one. Yes, so, so that I can see, please. Although something tells me there's not anything here. I don't know if there's really a point in trying to do this. Um, that's merely lighting. Why does this room exist, Vex? Why is this here? Why am I wasting my time on it? And why do you have to put it right next to void? So many questions. So few answers. Okay. Well. 
This episode, I feel like we actually made some progress. We uh, took on a parkour tower. We discovered another dojo. We discovered a new landmass. And we have entered what I'm assuming is another dungeon. Uh, with some weird creeper mobs in it. But I think that is going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.